Since 2004, volunteer groups have cleared more than 1,500 abandoned traps from Florida's waterways. Now a new rule is making it easier. Beginning in July, Florida is closing regions across the state to blue crab trap fishing for 10-day periods, adding new efficiency to organized cleanup efforts. The Fish and Wildlife Commission is in charge of the cleanup effort, but with so much water and so few people, they need help. The FWC has a limited budget, and, and so we can't go out and clean up all of them, so we're relying heavily on volunteer efforts to go out into their areas and, and organize community groups to go out and, and clean up these traps. People like Kelly Beal are answering that call. Beal owns a seafood restaurant in Charlotte County. Because of her daily interaction with local fishermen, she saw the need to remove traps from the Peace River and assisted in a cleanup event. There is a user conflict between the recreational and the blue crabbers, so to make peace, the industry got together and stepped up to the plate and said, I'm ready to make a difference. I want to help out in the removal of these navigational hazards. Beal worked to organize a cleanup on problem sections of the Peace River with numerous derelict traps. She asked local businesses, fishermen, and organizations to be part of the cleanup by volunteering boats, time, and equipment. Every crabber I asked to participate had no problem and was eager to help out. They were more than willing to get involved. Beal also worked with Betty Stogler, the Florida Sea Grant Marine Agent for Charlotte County. Stogler contacted the FWC for permission to host the event and provided additional help with planning and coordination. Locally, the commercial fishermen asked for some assistance, and um, that's one of the things that Sea Grant does, is we're a resource for our community, so I worked with them. On the morning of the cleanup, Sea Grant agents give volunteers a crash course on identifying derelict traps and demonstrate how to remove them. Volunteers then split into teams, searching the surrounding waters. After four hours of work, teams return with their catch and data about each trap they've collected. Organizing a cleanup event like this takes lead time and preparation. Since you've learned a little about the process, you can decide if hosting a crab trap cleanup is right for you and your organization. If hosting a cleanup event sounds like something you want to dive into, contact the Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. The first step would be to go to our website and, and look up our tr volunteer trap cleanup and trap retrieval website. You can download our frequently asked questions, uh, look at data sheets that are required when collecting traps, uh, look at the, the form that you need to fill out before you organize that needs to be submitted to the FWC uh, to get prior approval before the event. Not sure if you can handle all the preparation and coordination but still want to help? Volunteer events are being scheduled in selected regions of the state. Log on to the Florida Sea Grant or Ocean Conservancy websites. Florida Sea Grant is a partner that supports cleanup events across the state and local Sea Grant agents are likely to have information about events occurring in their communities. Some agents may want to actually coordinate the events, others um, Depending on their, their role um, in their communities, they may just be a resource for uh, a local kayak club or a fishing club that, that wants to do the, the cleanups. On those websites, you can find information about crab trap removal events and about other cleanup events happening throughout the year. Together, we can make a difference in our communities by cleaning up our waterways and making sure our valuable coastal habitats remain a safe place for fish and fishermen alike.